Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cooker, and this is another episode of the Bespoke Post series. And of course, this is a special kind of Christmas edition. Uh, this one, as you can see, does have the black box in it, as well as the one item that I did get uh, to uh, get that black box for free. Now, unfortunately, because of the way Bespoke Post uh, gets their uh, products out and does the uh, black box special, uh, we can't get the black box in soon enough uh, to let you know what's in it before they're not selling it or they're not offering it anymore. Uh, so I noticed some people were looking at the previous video. That's part of the reason why I did this. And uh, I did just want to let you know. Unfortunately, we can't kind of cheat and let you know what it is beforehand. Uh, it, you just unfortunately have to kind of take it as a surprise and on faith that uh, hopefully you'll like it all right everybody so here it is we've got the uh, small black box and uh, this black box is just the standard version uh, last year we did the one that was the premium uh, there's a there's a difference in that uh, the premium version is I believe you spend ninety dollars to uh, get that one whereas the standard edition is uh, only $45 spend before uh, you can get this one. Now we'll go ahead with this piece right here. Of course, this is what I bought to get the black box, but I also got this because I could really use it. Um, I don't have, uh, I didn't have a, a uh, axe or anything like that that is this size, and this is the carpenter's hatchet tool is what they call it. Uh, and as you can see, the, it does have not just the hatchet end, but it does have a hammer end on it. It also has the uh, nail pry or the nail puller uh, notch in it as well. Uh, this is a hickory handle. Uh, it is roughly 18 inches long. And this is by the Hardcore Hammers Company. And uh, that is right there. And they have a little logo that has a, uh, an anvil on it. Now they do use uh, two, um, and I forget what these are actually called, I'll call them keepers for the time being, but they have two of these little wedge type keepers uh, that are metal that they use to uh, seat the axe head in, or, or to seat the handle in the axe head. Uh, it does have a kind of glazed coating on it, and I'm sure that's there to prevent rust. And of course it also comes with this little bit of a rubber guard to uh, protect you from the edge of the blade. Uh, now it comes fairly sharp, it's, uh, it does have a nice edge to it. And uh, as you can see, it's a fairly thin one. So this one is more for um, chopping rather than splitting, but it would be reasonable if you use it for maybe a camping axe. Um, in, when you're out camping you can of course chop down some stuff and this of course would be good enough to at least split it you might have to get it down so that it goes across the uh, the head there uh, in in the uh, wider area to get it to split properly but uh, it would work fairly well so it would be nice if it did come with an axe mask um, and of course all that is is just that cover it's not called a sheath it is called an axe mask Anyhow, it would be nice if it had one of those. Um, the best it's got is the uh, little like silicone or rubber type of uh, cover, which is not bad. At least it'll keep you from getting cut. But uh, I would definitely like to be able to maybe hang this off of my belt or something like that uh, if I'm using it for uh, camping or, or just walking around with it or whatever. Um, so, uh, and you know, we may end up making one for it. But uh, there we go, very nice. It's got a nice feel to it. Like I said, this is a nice uh, hickory wood handle. Uh, and of course, if you're taking this camping, you can of course use the hammer end to hammer in some uh, stakes or something like that. Um, and you can use it for uh, some basic building projects. Now let's uh, get into the black box, which I'm sure a lot of you have uh, kind of tuned in because of this first few things. We've got a few things coming out here right on top. We've got the black box card. And this one says uh, in its little caption here, we put together this collection of favorites from some of the best brands out there, just like we do with our boxes every month of the year. We hope you enjoy. And then there's a list of different things in here and it looks like there are six different items in here. Uh, I'll use this reference card here uh, for, for the products, but uh, we'll go ahead and check out some stuff. Um, looks like they sent me a card. Uh, what are the holidays without good wine? 
Okay, and uh, that's Bespoke Post, and this is a $25 off uh, thing for a wine. It looks like a Wine of the Month Club. Oh, it, it is from Bespoke Post. So this is a service that Bespoke Post does offer, and it looks like they have a monthly wine uh, box per se. So uh, now they're not doing just uh, just the items, but now they also have the uh, the wine that's coming out. Uh, then they say hair today, hair tomorrow. For those gentlemen who are uh, maybe a little worried about thinning hair or something like that, uh, you get a three month treatment of. Uh, from Keeps, um, which is, I, well, obviously Keeps, keep your hair. Uh, but uh, that way you get uh, $25 for three month treatment. Uh, and then we also have this other one. This is from uh, Lisa, L-E-E-S-A. Uh, and it is the amazing mattress at an incredible price. And it is up to a $225 savings so we've got some little ad things here um, some little discount coupons which some of them like the wine one we might actually try that one for a couple of times yeah definitely let me know down in the description below if you'd be interested in uh, in seeing what they have to offer and uh, maybe we'll get a few a uh, few of these over a course of a few months and uh, if it keeps going maybe we'll keep going with it uh, now we got a little bespoke postcard uh, there we go uh, this one is for $10 off any store order over $75 and of course for Bespoke Post. So uh, there we go there. Now let's go ahead and get into this. I'm just going to kind of grab stuff so as we go I'll, I'll go with this one here. Uh, this is uh, Maverick Beard Oil and uh, Maverick is M-V-R-C-K so of course no, no vowels. But uh, this is for softening and refreshing uh, your, be your beard. So for those of us who do happen to have beards, uh, this is a, uh, a nice kind of, kind of a conditioning type thing. Uh, to try and take care of your beard, make it, uh, make it so it's not all wiry and scratchy and everything. So there we go, we've got a beard oil. Uh, the next one is going to be oh, a very simple thing. A kind of basically, it looks like just uh, stainless steel. I think is what it is, uh, but it is a tie clip or a tie keeper, I believe. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, stainless steel tie bar. Uh, now this is one and a half inches across. So uh, if you have the wide ties uh, versus the narrow ties, you'll know exactly what this will look like um, with uh, knowing how how wide this is. So there we go there and uh, I have a few ties that I can use that on for sure uh, then we have uh, we'll go with this this is another Maverick one and this is uh, skin and beard lotion and uh, this is uh, of course moisturizing and it says moisturizing and controlling so uh, obviously moisturize your skin maybe control the uh, the the wiry uh, and uh, kind of the growth of the beard, kind of keep it in a nice, uh, clean and trimmed and uh, taken care of uh, look to it. So uh, there we go, matter of fact. And it has maybe a little bit of a smell, but it's very, very mild. So uh, for those of you who uh, don't like real smelly stuff, um, this does seem to be fairly, uh, fairly light in the way of uh, aroma. Let's see what about the beard oil too. I want to. Yeah, this one it has a mild has a mild scent to it, but both of them have uh, kind of the same scent. It um, it it does kind of remind me of a cologne of some type, but it is uh, very mild, so it's not overpowering or anything. Oh, cap snap, one-handed bottle opener. Okay, okay. So here we go. We could put like a little lanyard, put on your key ring or whatever. It has a little hole in the back. And then you've got this little hook with the uh, with the back end that's kind of standing out there. So if you have a uh, you know a bottle of beer or something like that, you can of course take this and uh, hook it. And I think I assume you rock it back. Maybe you rock it forward. Either way, uh, that is what this for what this is for. Leather refillable uh, journal, and it says ash and fur. And I'm assuming that is who the company is that makes it. And it is basically a very thick piece of, uh, of leather. I'm going to say that's at least an eighth of an inch thick. It has the, uh, the nice smooth finish on the outside. And it does have this little uh, mountain logo on the bottom there. 
uh, which kind of is very nice. And then it has uh, just, just a simple little um, elastic band there. And then you've got a little uh, notebook type thing here. Uh, kind of actually looks like um, an elevation map right there. But just some, uh, some plain paper there. And of course you can uh, throw in whatever you want there, but that's kind of nice. Uh, looks like it would fit in uh, a back pocket or a breast pocket of a jacket or something like that. But uh, there we go. This will do it for me today, I think. Uh, we've got the this year's 2018 uh, standard size black box, as well as the hatchet uh, tool here. So uh, you guys can, of course, again, like I said, check it out down there in the description below, as well as the, the uh, links to uh, World of Me social media. And uh, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well as uh, don't forget to ring that bell and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done those already. Uh, all right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.